What is up you guys? Welcome back to another video. Probably gonna be taking it a little easier this week. We've had a lot of installs on the channel in the past weeks and the garage is kind of a mess now. I need to start cleaning up some of this stuff. But there's also a car that used to be here that's no longer here anymore. One of our roommates, Cole, moved out so his car is no longer back there occupying this space. So now I think we can actually make a little bit better use of this space, so I might do that here in just a second. We've also gotten the Miata to a really good point right now. There's definitely still a lot more that I want to do with it, but for right now, what I want to get done is to get this car right here back up and running. I briefly talked about the Protégé on this channel before, but today we're going to talk about it in a lot more detail and hopefully get started working on it. But first things first, I'm going to do a little organizing and clean up, and then we'll get to it. I also got the reverse light in the mail finally for the Miata GV finish panel. I've had no reverse light since I installed that, but we've got it, so we can do that today as well. That's a bit better. We always have so many projects going on and with how much work we do out of here, it's kind of hard sometimes to keep it super straight all the time, but this is pretty good for now. So real quick, this back section of the garage. So this side area right here where Cole's Miata used to be, I put all these stands with the extra body parts, a couple of bumpers for the Accord, my extra trunk for the Protégé and my front bumper for the Protégé. Got all this right here, so I'm ready to put this car back up so I can work on it. So a much needed gauge hood for my roommate Cole's Miata. That car is actually still here. We just moved it upstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this in real quick. It'll only take a second. Good look at that nastiness, dude. Well, I got it mounted, but I don't have any blade connectors here at the house to go on that little grounding point. I could make something ghetto work, but I'm just gonna wait. So, just gotta get one of those connectors, ground it, connect it to power, done. So, I won't be able to completely finish that reverse slide on the Miata today, but I will update you guys when I do get it done. Alright, so now that we got that stuff out of the way, let's go ahead and talk about this before we go. I'm probably not gonna end up getting started on any of the actual work on this today. I just kind of procrastinated a little bit this weekend, to be honest. I just wanted to take it easy. We've been doing a lot, but I did end up getting stuff organized and cleaned up and ready so I can go ahead and get started on this. Real quick, let me tell you guys a bit about this car and give you kind of a walk around tour and pretty much just get you guys up to speed on this car. So this is my 2002 Mazda Protégé. I've owned this car since 2011 and before that my dad had actually owned it since brand new in 2002, so it's essentially a one owner car. This was the second car that I ever owned and it has gone through a lot of changes since I've had it. Gone from being a completely bone stock automatic to now a five speed manual swapped shaved and tucked engine bay. So we can do a bit of a walk around and I'll tell you guys everything that I've done to the car. But basically where we are at, Right now, five speed swap is done, shave paint is done. I've actually had this car running, driving out on the road and at a couple of shows last year. But ever since I finished it, it's been a little bit wonky. I've had some weird electrical issues. I'm guessing it has to do with the wire tuck. So basically what I'm doing right now is completely, honestly just starting from scratch on the wiring 
redoing it, doing it better, relocating my fuse box. I had it in a bit of a sketchy location in the passenger fender well. I'm gonna be putting that inside the car in the glove box. So basically what I have to do now is just a lot of rerunning of wires. So that's cutting, extending, whatever we need to do to completely tuck and hide that wire harness so it looks proper in the clean and shaved engine bay. Currently I do have everything kind of just quickly wired up. Nothing is extended right now. I've put a battery on the car. It does start up and run, so we should be good to go. But yeah, let's go ahead and take a walk around the car and I can show you guys what all I've done. So let's start with that engine bay like I talked about. I have to also throw up a couple of photos of what this looks like when it's all complete and together and not a mess. Show you guys kind of what the version one of this looked like when it was running. But yeah, as some of you guys might know, I do work at a body shop, so I did all of the bodywork and paint on this engine bay. Might be a little hard to tell the extent of what all was done here if you're not familiar with the stock protege engine bay, but all these seams were smoothed out and made to look seamless. Any and all unnecessary holes were shaved. I ended up removing pretty much everything I possibly could just to get this looking as simple and clean as possible. So we no longer have power steering, no air AC. This right here is actually where the AC would have gone. There would have been a hole right here. That's been completely shaved. It looks like nothing was ever there. Any and all holes in the frame rails all the way down have been welded up, smoothed over, completely shaved. Windshield wipers and wiper motor are gone. That would have gone right there. I also got rid of the brake booster and went with the Chase Bay's Willwood brake booster eliminator kit. So it comes with a full master cylinder, proportioning valve, and all that. Custom brake lines. Of course, the whole engine was cleaned up when I had it out of the car. I also had the transmission case smoothed out and powder coated silver. Currently rocking a Mishimoto radiator and Samco Sport silicone coolant hoses. The only orange hose I have is this upper hose here. All the other ones are black. This is one of the pieces I've had for a long time. This is actually a Mazda Speed Miata oil cap. Kind of hard to get nowadays. I run K-Sport coilovers on this car. I've had those since probably 2012. That was probably the first real part I ever bought for this car. The headlights are retrofitted with Morimoto D2S 3.0 projectors. I ended up painting the reflector bowls black, leaving the surround chrome, and I did yellow laminex over the turn signals right there to match the fog lights. Currently rocking RPF1s on the car. This is one of many wheel setups I've had over the years. First set was some five spoke OZ Monte Carlos. I then also had Rotiform NUE, as well as some Kosi K1. 15 by 7. I actually had all three of those setups at the same time, but right now it is just the 17 by 9 RPF ones. These fender side markers right here are an OEM part, but that's not actually OEM to my particular car. My car is an O2. These fender side markers only came on the 2003 Protégés or the Protégé 5, which is the hatchback. I actually cut holes in my fenders to retrofit these side markers. I actually did this before I even had the car on coilovers. This was probably 2011. These mirrors are actually OEM JDM power folding. I do not have the power folding function wired up currently because it's a bit of a pain. You'll notice on normal US mirrors, the passenger side mirror has that text on it about car and mirror is actually closer than it appears or whatever like that. The JDM versions do not have this and they're actually set up for right hand drive obviously. So these do take a little getting used to when you're driving the car as the left side, the US driver side, that mirror is actually that wider angle. And this here would be the normal driver side in Japan. So that takes a little getting used to, but I've never had a problem with them. So working away from front to back here, OEM side skirts with eBay Mazda 3 side splitters. This here is a, I believe, EGR rear window visor made for the Mazda Protégé. It's actually a dark tinted plastic. So when you're inside the car and you're looking out the back glass, you can actually see through it. While we're here touching on the interior real quick, these trim pieces, the door window switches, door handles actually come factory painted, kind of a gold color. I repainted all of them the OEM sunlight silver as the same as the outside of the car. Got the Mazda Speed Protégé pedals down there. This gauge surround is a, I believe, DG carbon fiber overlay. And anyone on the Protégé forums knows that those are the polished Dave B gauge rings. These Mazda Strikers were another form group buy piece. Have those on all four latches. All right, that is the front bumper 
Laminex Yellow Fogs, OEM sedan front lip, very rare, probably the rarest part on the car. I like that piece quite a bit. Makes it look so much better with the lip. This is actually the factory trunk that came on the car with the Mazda Speed Protégé spoiler, the 2003.5 version. There was a mid-year facelift where they changed some things, the spoiler, the rear lip and front lip. It has the hella clear LED third brake light. And I put the European 323 badge on this trunk. This trunk here is a no spoiler, obviously and I shaved all the emblems. Normally the emblems have two holes behind each one of them from the factory. Those are welded up and shaved completely smooth. So it is completely badgeless in the rear. Over there, you can barely see them. I've got a set of stock taillights that I did. Sprayed full red, so they're all red. Here I'm rocking these all clears. I'm pretty sure these are the only ones that exist for this car. Some guy made them in Puerto Rico. He ended up putting them on his car. He didn't like them. He put them up for sale. I snagged them immediately. I really like these. I, it makes it look super unique. I think they look really good with the silver. Kind of has that monochrome look. And I've just always really loved all clears. You see them on Hondas a lot. I think they look really cool. Last but not least, I have a Cork Sport 60 millimeter catback exhaust. And that pretty much does it, probably forgetting a few things, but for the most part, that is it. So quite a bit actually, and even as I was filming, filming this and actually looking at everything, I remember doing all this stuff and it is quite a lot. Just over the years, I've had this car for a long time now, since 2011. I mean, it might not even look like there's that much at first glance, and once you start looking closer and looking deeper, just all the little details. I always try and keep my cars a little low key anyways, simple and clean. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Hopefully some of my protege followers can appreciate this. I know originally my Instagram was mostly protege stuff before I even had the Miata. So hopefully some of you guys can appreciate this. I'm really wanting to get th this car going again. I really miss it to be honest. So that is the plan. I'm gonna try and alternate Protégé content and Miata content because of course we're still gonna do Miata stuff. There's still stuff that I wanna do to that car, but yeah. I think that is going to do it for this one. Thank you guys for watching. As always, have an awesome week, and we will see you in the next one.